Hello and welcome everyone. Today's interesting session is about myths. And I would say it's a myth buster session, right? So today we'll talk about the myths regarding eyes. And by the way, this is your Baiju's 9th and 10th channel and I'm your friend, your teacher, your mentor, Saurabh. And today, let's just bust some myths. Myths about eyes. Now, as we grow up, we keep on hearing these things, right? People tell us, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. But they don't have a scientific reason for it. And often we just don't ask, true? All right. So regarding eyes also, we have heard a lot of things. Today, as you and me, we are students of science, we are supposed to just dig deeper. Let's do that. Let's see how are these myths really true? Or we would not be calling them myths if, if they were true, right? Let's see. Let's just delve into the science of that and see what happens. Come on. The first myth, which I think all of you might have heard is reading in the dark harms your eyes. It happens, no? A lot of elders tell you, andhere mini parna, aakhra bujayega, right? We tell this. But is it really true? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's delve into the science. Let's see how eyes work and understand, is it really true? Come on. So, our eyes adjust to the dark. We know this, right? Okay. But how do our eyes adjust to the dark? Pupils. Pupils are the windows of our eyes. The hole from which light enters into our eyes and fall on the retina, right? Yes. We all know, pupil is this small black hole in the eyes. All right. Now, around this, we see a set of colored muscles, right? Sometimes brown, sometimes black. We all tend to say, right, my brown, my eye, I have brown color. My eyes have black colors, right? It's the iris we are talking about. So iris is a set of muscles responsible for changing the size of the pupil. Or in a way, we can say it is responsible for allowing how much light should go inside the eyes, right? So pupils can be normal like this, or they could be dilated. You can see this area, right? The empty or the window area is more, means pupils are dilated, all right. So iris, they can change the size of the pupils, means they can control the amount of light entering into the eyes. So it depends on the surrounding light. If light is more, yes, pupils will be smaller. If light is dim, pupils will be larger so that they can allow more light to just fall inside. Nice. So what next? It falls on retina. The light falls on the retina. And retina has photosensitive cells. We call them rods and cones. These are two types of cells. While cones are more, uh, I would say, responsive to colors, they are responsible for color detection. Rods, on the other hand, they are sensitive to light. Rods are located mostly to the periphery of the retina. Right? Okay. Now, rods are capable of just, I would say, uh, Scotopic, yes, it's a difficult word. Scotopic vision, right? Scotopic vision. Now, very simply, I would say it's a low light level detection, right? Scotopic vision. So rods are sensible for uh, scotopic vision, which means what should happen? If light is dim, they get activated, right? And that's how they allow you to adjust for the dark rooms. And just an important thing, they have a pigment, yes. They have a pigment called as rhodopsin, which is rich in vitamin A. And you might have heard people telling you, you should, you should consume vitamin A for good and healthy eyes. That's true, because rhodopsin is, is mainly made up of vitamin A, right? So reading in the, ha in the dark is actually not, I would say, harmful to our eyes. It's not. They won't cause a permanent damage. But sir, does it mean we can? We should read in dim light, although we have rod cells. Yes, we have rod cells, we have rhodopsin, we have rod cells which can perform scotopic vision, but still there is one problem. Yes, it's not harmful, that's true. But the thing is, when you try to just see or read in the dark, your eyes have to work harder. Means you get tired, means you might just not study, or if you're trying to study, you might not be able to sit for long hours because you are straining your eyes. That's why it's not something which will cause a permanent damage, but in that particular moment, when you're trying to study something, you'll start feeling drowsy, sleepy, and you will feel like, let's just do close it, I'm going to sleep. So that's why no permanent damage means reading in the dark harms your eye. This is not true. This is a false statement, all right? 
Nice. Let's see. Myth number two. We all see, right? Dark sunglasses, they protect us from the sun. Seems true. At least on the first instance, when you look at this statement, it seems true, right? Now, dark sunglasses, what do you think? Is it the darkness of a sunglass which helps you out or something else? No. You want to protect your eyes from UV, the ultraviolet rays coming from the sun. And a sunglass being dark is not something which helps you out on this. Although it gives you comfort. That's true. Dark sunglasses gives you comfort, right? Reducing the intensity of light which is coming into your eyes. It gives you comfort but does not protect you from UV rays. A normal sunglass, right? If a normal sunglass is there and sun rays pass through this, Let's say these are the UV rays coming or falling on the sunglass. If it not made to support or absorb the UV rays, it'll just pass through. It will reach your eyes. It will harm your eyes, right? What do you want? You want sunglasses with UV films on that. So that when UV rays fall on this sunglass, they are not able to go inside and reach your eyes to harm them. That's why you want a sunglass which is UV protected, not which is dark. It does not matter if it's dark, right? So, you need dark sunglasses to protect from the sun? No. You need sunglasses with UV protection. So let's summarize whatever we have learned till now. First, reading in dark harms your eyes? False. But it can cause tired eyes. Means you will feel drowsy. You will just go to sleep. That's why. If you want to sit for long hours, make sure the room is well lit, right? It's ventilated. This is something which, which we tell you every time, right? Dark sunglasses protect from the sun? False. What's important is UV protection. So, if you understood this, let me ask you one question. Do you think sitting close to a television harms your eyes? We have heard this. TV zyada mat dekho, aange kharab ho jayenge, right? We have heard this, right? So, this is my question to you. Do you think sitting close to a TV harms your eyes? Try, and, uh, try to answer with science. This is the constraint. Try to answer with science. Think and then answer. Fine. Deal? Nice. If you think this was a good video, make sure you like it. If you think we are helping you and this video will help someone, share it to them. Important. And subscribe because we do a lot of stuff which is extremely important to you. Means if you are a part of this small family and we are saying we are targeting 100k, right? Yes. If you are a part of the small family and if you are not, make sure you become one because then only you will get to know what we do. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you'll get all the notifications on time.